Hello. Hi. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Yes, good morning. I need your energy. My name is Brittany Hernandez Wilson. I am the MCR, but also on the board. And so I have the um, honor and pleasure of moderating today's session, um, Dr. Therese Rowan. But Ansley here would like to introduce her. So I'm just going to pass the mic and then shut the door back there. So thank you. Good morning, all. Thank you so much for coming to our assistive technology session and the do-it-yourself versions of assistive technology. I'd like to introduce Dr. Therese Wilcom. She is a wonderful, kind-hearted MacGyver, fairy godmother, and genius. I just wanted to say that I grew up with tuberculosis, and it was because of people like her who didn't give up, who were willing to figure things out, and see things from a different viewpoint, all with a kind heart and a smile that let me do all the wonderful things that I'm doing. And then I have a water bottle holder and a coffee holder for rolling home in my wheelchair. She's awesome, so I can do if you haven't yet. And welcome back to Thank you. Wow, thank you for getting up early and getting to the very first session. <laughs> and coming to my session. And so I am absolutely thrilled. This is my fourth conference that I've been to, and um, it is just such a joy to be here. It's like a family reunion every, every year coming, and just connecting with people that I've met at the other conferences. And before I get started, I just wanted to say about you know, this whole thing on, on creating solutions in minutes. So I'm all about, if you have five minutes um, to figure out a solution, and what could you do in five minutes? And the other part is that the fact is is that you are all MacGyvers, MacGyvons, MacGyvettes, because you all have to figure things out on the fly. And I just have to fix my screen so it doesn't keep. There we go. There, never. Now it's not going to go black. Okay, cool. And I thought about, you know, each year when I come to present, I want it to be different. And I also realized at this conference, we yeah, have a lot of first-timers. Raise your hand if you're a first-timer. Yes. So um, even some of the stuff that I've presented at prior conferences are still applicable. And the other cool thing was that um, so we went in Orlando. Uh, many of you I said, "Hey, were you with us in Orlando?" And a lot of you said, "No, I wasn't. I wasn't there." How many were? How many in here were in Orlando? Right. So there was like, yeah, only about four or five. So, um, so last year in Orlando, I came out with my new book on making things in five minutes or less, or five dollars or less. And so in, if you didn't get a copy of the new book that we were giving out last year, make sure that you give Nancy or, or um, Darlene, who's at our booth, um, your name and address, and we're happy to send you um, a copy of that book. And it's called Make Stuff and Love People, because that's all I want to do, is that's my retirement gig, right? Just make stuff and love people. And so uh, book two just came out uh, 10 years ago. And it still has a lot of different ideas. So when people say like, well, how do you, you know, put your shirt on or your socks on? And I, you know, I'll say, oh, page 59, I came up with an idea for this person. And so every person is different. You know, this conference, what made this conference a little bit different for me was looking at the fact that not everybody is able to use armrests, right? And so the armrest for me was like, oh, Melting place that I can melt things off of the armrest if the armrest isn't being used in that. And the other thing I wanted to say before I, I get started here was that um, I, I grew up on a dairy farm in Wisconsin and uh, one of ten kids. And when you grow up farming, you learn at a very early age two important things one is time, and the other one is money. And you can never get time back. Um, and so that whole sense of my dad being like the cows got out, 
you had to have, figure out very quickly what you can do with duct tape and bailing wire to fix the fences very quickly, right? And then about money, my dad would always say, don't throw that away. You never know when we might need it. And the other part was that when we created solutions, we had a 90% chance of whatever we came up with was not going to work, right? But we came up that much closer to coming up with a solution that would work. And so many of you that came to the table saying, oh, can you make this for me, can you make that? You'll remember how, oh, I had this idea in my head and I'd whip it up and I was like, oh no, that's not gonna work, that's not perfect. And, um, but being able to change things out, being able to adjust things very, very quickly. And so when I talk about making things, you know, we, we look at really um, making mounting solutions that can work on um, a chair, a table, a bed, the floor, the car, body mount the solutions. And, you know, really embracing the ABLE principles. And one of the things I think I do here is removable. I forgot to put the word removable. Because when we're making mounting solutions, we need to make sure that you do no harm to people's environments, to people's equipment, um, to their home, to their wheelchair. It's, it's about Whatever you put on, you've got to be able to quickly remove and take off without damaging. So I don't use any power tools. And I've presented now in all 50 states and in 27 other countries. So I've been all over the world. And when I travel to other countries, we do not have, I don't have electricity in other countries. And same thing on the farm. When you're out on the back 40 and you're, you're out in the middle of nowhere, and the tractor breaks down or there's a leak on the gas tank, I remember my dad saying, always carry a stick of bulb with you because that's you to plug a, a leak on the gas tank for gum. And so all of these things, and you know, I talk about like, everybody needs to have their own MacGyver kit, right? So um, uh, that has an assortment of all of these different tapes. And, and I don't use any glue. Um, the problem with glue, glue can be really toxic. Glue takes a while for it to um, set up. Um, glue is time consuming, expensive, messy. Uh, and then nails and screws uh, it, it take a uh, you know, longer time. And plus, you know, once you put a nail in something, you can put a permanent hole in that. And there's no moving back. Same thing, you drill a hole in something, you drill the hole in something, right? You cannot. You know, take that back if you screw up. And so that's why I want you to think about some of these other specialty tapes that are available at Home Depot, um, Target, Walmart. And uh, since last conference, I've discovered uh, some new materials that I wanted to share with you that I'm using in some creative ways. So what I thought I'd do is start off with um, Giving you an example, so this is called the Sushi Susan. And um, Tony works with me at the University of New Hampshire, he has ABC, and so he wanted to eat sushi, and so the big struggle. So, um, so thinking about you know, turning the plates upside down, and where you can use the bottom to rotate. So this one, this, this took, I was at Bed Bath & Beyond, and I saw these microwavable plates, and I thought, oh my gosh, if I turn them upside down, I could turn them into like a Lazy Susan, and then I could take recycled election signs, I could put a hole in them, and then I could take um, some, some lock line material. And so what happened was, um, I was really excited about that. But then Tony said, yeah, so he could eat, you know, uh, sushi independently. But when he went out with his buddies and he said it's really not that practical, it's hard to put in the backpack, um, it takes too long for it to assemble. And so I love I love that when people will give you honest feedback about your idea because then it motivates you to come up with something better. So then I um, came up with this concept of something that would what you have to see inside of um, so this is 16 portfolios. Oh, look at that! So then we looked at, um, could we clip this onto the arms, onto uh, a wheelchair? So that was like kind of cool. And so this whole thing on, 
I'm obsessed with these little mini quicker plants. And they come in all different sizes. And so you have two controls here. You have this little button here. When you push in here, this slides back and forth. And then when you position that, then when you want to tighten it, you squeeze here, tighten it, and then to release it, you push this button here and it releases. So this is the baby one. And so this is the one that we've been using for the, the little um, spinner, the sushi suji. And these are called uh, quicker plants. Um, woodworkers. And oh, here it's so banana here. Um, <laughs> so all you have to do is raise your hand and she, she will bring it around and give it to you so you can then play with it, sliding it back and forth. Okay? I'm going to show that. So woodworkers will use that to hold two pieces like they glued something together and they need it rather than using C clamps. The C clamps, you like turning, turning. So it's a grub. They're also called like bar clamps. Different side of bar clamps. So um, using that. Then this is uh, tailing. And so uh, looking at yogurt. So one of the things is, is that setting this up, and you can, you've got this set up at the table, and you can take a look at that. But um, so when you take yogurt, and you can easily put it on the spoons. And so it's great watching like everybody like um, how many forkfuls do you put in your mouth? Is it eight? Is it 16? Is it 32? So it turns out that um, one cup of yogurt is equal to 16 spoons fulls for a uh, table. So, so that was like really cool. So then we'd say, okay, so she, she, she uses about 16 for um, um, one of those Greek yogurt cups. So we're going to use the 16. The other thing was with Taylor was in terms of seeing, um, she was feeling where, because she was visually impaired, she was feeling where the spoons were. So I can definitely get another um, set of uh, spoons and forks. So this was just showing how you could put the second layer on top. And I take a pair of scissors and I just snip that little partition that's in corrugated plastic. And then that way I can get the, the spoons to slide in. So then, uh, I forget this gentleman's name, but his mom said uh, when they're traveling in the car, um, her son has to reach around and put a, a french fry for him in his mouth. And so looking at when you're traveling in a car, what are the holding solutions out there? And can we make something that would um, hold um, a hamburger or hold potato chips? And so uh, this was something that we, we whipped up on the fly. But this pipe, this is called CTBC pipe, and it's your hot water pipe, and it's smaller, it's half inch. And the reason I'm doing an elbow here is that if I put an elbow down here, this whole thing would rotate. So I needed something coming up vertical to be able to hold that. And these are just spring clips made out of the corrugated plastic. And it can be all different sizes. So then um, the, the whole thing on working with looking at cup holders. We'll look at some of those in, in a little bit. But um, the cool thing I'll show a video on is the plus sign. So a lot of wheelchairs, when you're looking at mounting something, whether it be on like on a scooter or on the leg um, rails for the leg rest or the armrest. So if you look at, you have two pieces of one wrap. One wrap is hooked on one side and on the other. <laughs> now we got a whole roll on there. But this is what was really cool to be able to whip this up in under a minute to create a cup holder. And the reality is everybody's beverages are different sizes. So the problem with the commercially available cups is they're only designed one way with the hope that it would, you know, fit for, for all. And it doesn't quite work that, that way. Here we go. Oh, you took that up on yours. So, um, this stuff is like the new duct tape, but it has no adhesive on it at all. 
which I really like, so I'm just going to put this on the camera. So just putting this around, and usually if you have tapered beverage containers, that and you're going to see an example on that, then you don't need this holster at the bottom. This is just so that it doesn't drop all the way through. So we're going to look at um, a few more pictures a little closer. All right, cell phones. Cell phones are so important because it's your own way, it's your lifeline of communicating with families, <coughs> friends, um, learning, the news, um, finances. Um, I, I cannot imagine, you know, when I think about the greatest invention in our lifetime, for me personally, has been the cell phone. Um, I don't know what life would be like if somebody took away my cell phone. And so looking at how you could quickly have access. So um, what I love was when people came to our table, I would say, okay, tell me, where do you want your cell phone? Just tell me where you want it. And they'll say, well, I want it right next to the control. And so coming up with something very quickly that would work. And so looking at that going, huh, what if I look at something that would go around the Yeah. So I cut a V-shape because she's got a pop socket on the back of that cell phone. And so here we have that, here's that pop socket, and then here's that recycled election sign. So I cut a V so the pop socket can slide right down in there. And then this stuff that looks like angle iron. Now, on the dairy farm, we use lots of angle iron, steel angle iron. And when I went away to college, I'd come home to the farm and I'd say, Dad, check this out. We don't need angle iron. You can use corner guard. And corner guard um, goes along the corners for wallpaper. So you can, oh, look, there's some corner guard. One time I was at a Motel 6, and there was corner guard in the room, and it was starting to peel away, and I helped it out a little bit. And it was like, wow, here's the other thing, and this is dual lock, Legos. I became really fascinated with Legos, because when you snap Legos in, it's nice and rigid. So this is dual lock, which is hard plastic interlocking mushrooms. Um, you lock that together, and so problem with Velcro is you're going to get shifting, but, but dual lock, you don't get any shifting. So coming up with this fast solution uh, for her cell phone to be in that position. Well, then this past year, I discovered a new material that's called Captain Tape, um, but it's also gription. Man, this stuff is wicked cool. It, it has a really high bump, friction coefficient. All it means is it grips on the stuff really well. And so I bought a roll of this, and I've been using it for, you know, like you put something on your lap and it slides or slips off? And so I use this on the bottom of a lot of um, blackboards. So uh, this gentleman came and he was having a problem. He was putting his cell phone on his lap, and but it kept sliding. He kept sliding on his, his um, hands. And so I put this friction uh, cat tongue tape on the back of his cell phone so that then he can just lay it on his lap and grips right onto his hand. <gasps> there he is. Is that working out for you? Yeah. And that was like so simple um, with this particular tape. So if you want to look at it close, man, a year will bring it around. If you bring your hand, she'll show you what that looks like. Um, so it's like really cool. <laughs> so one of the concerns I had was putting things on the bottom of people's cell phones. But what I noticed at this conference was you all had your cell phones in cases, right? And so um, the worst thing that could happen is, is that if it left the residue or you want to put another piece on, you could put that piece on, but at least I wasn't going to damage the cell phone itself by putting the traction tape on that. So then here's another example of putting that traction tape. So um, this woman wanted a way to, she talked about how, um, you know, maybe she'd get hors d'oeuvres or a plate, like how do you carry a plate and to keep the plate from falling off. So here's an example of this is a tapered uh, cup holder. So she's at five to put a couple of dollars to it. And then I put the cancer tape and then um, take the 
Um, and this is just recycled election signs. And then one wrap around um, her, where she stared up on that, and then she's also able to grip onto that and use that also for, for steering. And then she said that she could use it with her cell phone as well. So this is really cool. This is an example on, you know, when I look at, I'm going to go to the back of her chair, um, you know, coming up with something really simple and fast. So I'm just going to pause it there. But what I want to show you is a couple of things. One is, here is a larger quicker plant. Then this black material, this black material is called Instamorph. And Instamorph is little plastic beads that heat up in 10 seconds, and then you knead it together, it becomes one, it looks like putty or whatever, and you shape it, you make whatever you want out of it. Um, and I can, if I run it under cold water, it'll harden in 30 seconds. Um, it normally hardens in about five minutes, but when I'm um, busy and I need to get it done really fast, I'll dip it in cold water. And then this whole thing slides off. So we look at that a little bit more, but. <coughs> and by doing this question mark, so she pushes on it, it pushes back. So that's that whole thing that if it was straight up and down, if she pushed on it, the walls and sockets would lose their position. That's why you've got to do this whole cantilever approach um, from a physics standpoint. And it worked great. Now, what part of that is the instamorph? The part that's instamorph is this black part down here. Connecting the quick clip to the Yeah, to so I think we've got, I asked, um, here we go. Oh, I see it. Can you see it now? Yeah. Yes. So um, there's a steel rod in there. And then check out, we saw these little rubber bands um, at uh, a motorcycle shop and for people with their motorcycles wanting to carry their cell phones and put their cell phones. Well, I discovered that I could slide it over this round disc. Modularhomes.com sells this lock line. This is all ball in the sockets. And so I was like, wow, that's really cool. That's a really fast way of making a fast uh, cell phone mount. And up here, I've got this whole contraption um, that I'm presenting from with the Instamorph, the bar plan. Ah, uh, here we go. I had hands in the list. So see how, when I put it over, it's like a dental. I will use chapstick around the bar plan so that I create an impression. When it hardens, I can slide it off. This is the way you push it in to release it, and then you squeeze the tiny feet. And because you've got a steel bar going straight up, it provides some more resilience for that. This is a good example on, I was trying to come up with a cell phone holder mount for the scooter, and I'm like, oh, I'll make it up in this and we'll just drop it over the top. And then my, my colleague said, oh, Therese, you know what? It's, if we just take this and we wrap um, one wrap around it, yeah, you can show that, yeah, with the, the uh, Instamorph. Instamorph comes in white and black. So, sorry. so um, what we figured out was we could just do one wrap and then put the on the back of her phone, and that worked out perfect. And that took less than a minute to mount um, her phone. Then this one, there's a cup holder. It turns out that she doesn't use the cup holder. But I thought, wow, I could easily make a mount for her cell phone. And she told me where she wanted it. And to keep the, the uh, black line from twirling around, I created a product that's called Gripper Loop. And Gripper Loop is loop on one side and rubber on the other. Well, then with this new grip shift Capton tape, I discovered if I just add this to the hook part of Velcro, 
then this works on any time you have a round tube. So wheelchairs have round tubing, uh, armrests, you know, a lot of times things, any time you got something slipping, adding this gripper material to that. So then, um, these mini um, styluses, so came up with a way with PVC pipe, and a tiny stylus, so that she can then type, yeah, and then have it like a little mouse stick holder right next to that. And I want, I wanted to zoom in on this. So this is half inch CPVC pipe and end cap, dual lock, and then you go on the back. So this was a really fast, quick solution that we came up with on the fly that attached to the mount. So when Nancy got here, um, I said, let's put a cell phone and a cup holder on your chair. So oftentimes what will happen is, is that if you've got something heavy, this whole thing is going to make a bend. And how do you keep it from bending and how do you mount it? So I've got the gripper loop, but I'm looking at three bases of support, three contact areas. Um, so I look at the, the rails for the footrest going, hey, now that would be a really good place to mount with the one wrap. So something to wrap it up really fast, and then she can take it off. So then that worked out, and then we were like, wow, you know, we could also probably use that um, for making like a, a cup holder. So we came up with a cup holder. And so what we're using is, we're not using regular Velcro. What we're using is, industrial Velcro, because industrial Velcro is rated at 12 pounds per square inch. And when, so I can hold up to 80 pounds with this um, Velcro. The standard Velcro that you get at Walmart or Target, that just, that's not gonna hold heavy items. And so when you have these big giant water bottles, you really need to go with um, industrial Velcro on this disc. So if you want to check that out. And then I put in that PVC, half of C PVC pipe um, to provide some more strength inside of the lock line so that it wouldn't flop down. So that seemed to work out quite well. Take Remo 2 and 
stick that on. And so that was kind of fun watching the kids playing with these. Looking at ways to want to yeah. have to bring that around to the show. So at Biggs and Level Stores, one of the new tapes that came out during the pandemic that was showing up everywhere I went was a product called Nano Tape or Magic Tape. And you're looking for the word that says washable. It's the only tape out there that um, you can wash and go on dishwashing. So, you know, it's, you know the, the sink swirling around acts as a degreaser. It dissolves all of the oils from the tape. And it's a silicone stretchy tape. And you let it dry and you use that piece over and over. And that's one of the things that I discovered with um, <coughs> silicone. Silicone doesn't dry out. I've had stuff that I've made out of silicone 20 years ago, and it's still ripped, it's still resilient, so that's been kind of cool. Um, another thing that we've been making is these little fidget um, items. So we take in some more when we wrap it around our finger, and just something like a little string, and um, we make it, you know, like everybody's finger size is a little bit different. Just something to grip onto the pole. Um, just something very, very fast, simple that can be done in under a minute. And that was like really cool stuff. And then looking, we did the friction tape on the bottom of the tray and the bottom of the board, so you can lay it on your lap and it can grip onto your lap. So that was really fun. Oh, here's what it looks like with the one wrap on the back. And then the Velcro, that was just a very simple mount for the cell phone. Cup holders, putting cup holders on canes and crutches. Uh, pretty simple, and using that plus. Um, looking at body mounting for yourselves, another way that you can carry your beverage using this record strap kit. So, Think about attaching things, whether you attach something to your forearm or attaching something around your neck or um, attaching something to your waistband. So creating in terms of beverage holder, and then I figured out this is how you guys can get six pack abs in five minutes or less. This is great when I'm traveling to airports. <laughs> Or when you're at a football game, just open up, okay, who wants a beer? Right? Um, looking at other mounting so it was like obsessed with leaf blowers, and mounting leaf blowers on the front rest. And creating part time jobs. But the problem with these leaf blowers is that they only last for about an hour. And so then we started doing air hockey with nerf balls and setting up goal posts and we mounted leaf blowers on everybody's wheelchair and it would blow them up. But we had to get hearing protection. If you can imagine with all those leaf blowers and the sound that they were making. Um, eating, you know, this whole thing of what if you cannot bring food up to your mouth, but you've got some shoulder movement. So that was kind of cool with the spring clips and figuring out how to do that. Um, here's an example of with a spray clip and it's able to access the bank of the brick and slide it back and forth. Another, you know, cell phone mount. This is under the armrest here and then um, around by the controller. And this is before I found some of those bands or other things or pop sockets, before I found pop sockets. I noticed at this conference people were using fishing pole brackets. And I was using that for a really long time because fishing pole brackets, um, you can um, loosen this up and you can change it. It's got a set screw. And here's taking two fishing pole brackets and taking them apart and joining them in the middle creating a fishing pole holder. Well then, um, I discovered this new mounting solution. And this is called a two-way adjustable elbow. And you push this button in, it goes click, click, click. So I don't need um, 
fishing pole, or I don't need the flagpole brackets. I can just use this with three quarter inch PVC pipe. So these, this has been really a cool uh, mounting solution. So looking at using the bed to mount things, here's the white and store over a bar plant. Then lock line, I want this part to be adjustable to, to angle down the iPad, up or down. Then this part here can slide up and down because I put chapstick um, as a mold release on the pipe so I could have something to slide back and forth. So it's kind of a bed mount. In the car, you know how behind the seat, the driver's seat, is, uh, where you put your maps? Well, that's great for mounting in the back seat because I can just score the corrugated plastic the recycle election site, slide that in there, put the iPad um, on top. So it becomes like a tray in the back seat of the car. And scissors. So having these scissors now. These scissors have been out for a long time, and they had this green mounting thing. But um, I wanted something that was wide for something that you could slide the paper around. And so um, just taking a couple pieces of 